What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're gonna be talking about a legendary time and a legendary state that finally has come to an ending which is state 119 and with it the birth of a new future legend. We're gonna be looking a bit on how the migration went for state 119 and all the others and we're gonna be talking a bit about all the updates that the devs put in regarding the migration and explaining a bit what they meant with it. So let's hit the intro and begin. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. Bartek, what is your profession? <laughs> Okay, so sadly, I don't have a recording of the entire migration from uh, this morning. This morning being from Friday to Saturday reset time. That's when the big migration towards state 90 happened. Uh, for anybody that missed all the details, uh, I think the most impactful information regarding this migration is the fact that the entire state 119 left like from this point on there is no more state 119 <laughs> um, and it, in a way you would think ah oh, but why state 119 was great they were amazing legendary they were still achieving so much great alliances in it why do the migration to begin with well you need to evolve you need to keep moving and in rise of empires you only have two options you either bring people in or you move the people out and in our case it was kind of hard to open up to start a new migration for uh, for state 119 so it was much easier in uh, to start preparing a new migration towards state 90 the reason why it's more efficient like this because you can take a pretty much dead state or a low population state and instead of filling it with a lot of castles you try to fill it only with top castles and that's how you also get a much better quality of players in the in the state clearly you can never control the type of people you bring just because they're big doesn't mean they're not stupid and so on yes we know the stories but the best you can do is prepare for it right like uh, this migration was planned for a very long time they were planning it since i don't know three or four seasons ago and every single time we were planning uh, maybe migrating not migrating maybe not maybe not and this time it was finally the time and it was a big one uh, I don't remember exactly how many castles, but I can tell you it was a bit over that 300 castle limit. Speaking of, regarding the mail that the devs posted in Rise of Empires regarding the migration changes. Those changes, uh, before the changes, there was a little gap between one day and the other like 10 if you would migrate 10 minutes before reset time you would have the limit of 300 castles afterwards uh, that would be the maximum but there before the refresh kicks in there's still another 10 minutes into the next hour and that would actually give you the chance to skip that limit of 300 castles to make it 600 and that's what the change was about it was about putting the refresh of the migration rating at zero zero so the moment the hour changes it also refreshes so you cannot abuse it and get more castles uh, if you've seen the newly made um, states like 265 i believe and 284 i might be wrong but somewhere over there the somewhere in the 200 two states emerged one to seven also had a gigantic migration and now finally state 90 which became the i believe it's the top 
state at least by immigration rating the highest immigration rating right now I think is state 90 uh, are those changes implemented were they I don't know I really don't know I, I I'm not friends with the devs I don't know them I don't think they like me anyway uh, so I cannot tell you more details about it but this was what the update was about and presumably they changed that and fixed it do I care now no because the migration already happened and everything went perfect so state 90 did I migrate with them yes I did how did you migrate with them Macalistos considering you are a free-to-play player presumably uh, well simple the castle I was playing on in state 119 was not my original starting castle my original starting castle was sold a million years ago when I actually quit rise of empires when I came back with a YouTube channel a friend of mine gave me one of his farms so I can build it into a castle. Later on, another friend of mine gave me an old abandoned castle, but, but still a main castle. And I started playing on that one, which became the castle that you keep seeing in all of my videos. That was the main. But it was never really my castle. So when I've heard about the entire migration thing, I already knew the answer like I'm I'm not uh, I'm not paying in the game so I don't have migration tickets and therefore cannot migrate with nobody so those castles are still in 119 but what I did do is again <laughs> same friend gave me a new castle that uh, had the migration tickets that was already beforehand migrated to state 90 and therefore right now i'm also in state 90 so there is no more calistos from state 119 even though it does sound cool that was it now it's calistos from state 90. Uh, when it comes to state 90 i can say it's it's pretty good state now like yeah there's a lot of confusion when you have so many new players because literally the entire state right now is formed out of a compilation of players from all around and then you have all the different alliances in a new state and now no nobody really knows who the hell is from state 90 like we had the kill event today and mo most of the time <laughs> the players from state 90 were hitting the players from state 90 sometimes even zeroing them before they realize oh wait this guy's from my state <laughs> because there's so much new to the entire uh, state and everybody's confused in all fairness but besides that which obviously is gonna take time for everybody to get used to it the state itself is a powerhouse i'm still interested to see how it's gonna perform how the new alliances are gonna perform during eden during how the state itself during cop because right now state 90 is in gold division so we still have to go up to legendary and so on but Personally, I am excited and I wanted to make this video to officially uh, make it known that State 119 is dead, it's finished. You have to understand that the state is not the number, the number is defined by the people in it. The same like 63 was a powerhouse for such a long time. The moment the main people left 63 and went to uh, 76, then 63 is nothing it's just that simple and even though you still have players strong players in 63 right now you cannot even compare it to the legend that 63 was before that so this is what i mean also with 119 all the players now all the main players or the majority at least left with this migration some also went in other directions but uh the overall point is state 119 is dead right now is finished and state 90 is gonna become for me my new house and uh, place for future content 
for this channel so i am excited i hope you guys are excited and with this i also close up the video thanks again for checking in leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already i don't know why you're not subscribing and of course i will see you guys in the next videos